Hello, I'm Catherine Wright, sister to the Wright brothers. Everybody knows about the brothers simply because they were the famous flying brothers. There's Wilbur and there's Orville. You can always tell Orville by his mustache. I'd like to introduce you to my brother, Wilbur. Wilbur was a mathematical whiz in school. Math was his thing. There's a wonderful story about one day when we were all in school, my brother was doing some math problems and the teacher told him he was wrong. Now, back in that day, if a teacher told you you were wrong, you never said a word. So my brother kept his peace and then at the end of class, when all the other children were gone, he went up to the teacher and said, may I show you how I did my math problem? And he worked it out on the board and the teacher said, you were right. Can you imagine his surprise to have a teacher tell them that he was right in the 1800s? And that gave him the confidence to move forward in what would become later the invention of the airplane. I'd like to introduce you to Orville. When he was a child, he had a, a very gregarious, happy-go-lucky personality. He loved to play in the kitchen. Now, our mother was college educated, and she knew that letting kids play in the kitchen and experiment was part of growing up. So he'd be in the kitchen with a pot and a pan and a whistling steam kettle. He just had a really good time. Well, one time he made a huge mess and everything kind of exploded. And I personally thought mom would just be upset. But what he learned from that was that science is messy and science takes trials. So he tried again and again and he became the mind of science combined with his brother who had the mind of math and was later able to invent the first airplane. One of the ways that my brothers got interested in flying was because one day our father, a very staunch pastor, came home with a toy from his many travels. The toy was a flying toy. Check this out. Lots of fun, but it broke. But in the breaking of the toy, you have the magic because my brothers were fascinated with the toy and the fact that it broke and they were able to repair it and put it back together launched their interest in flying. In fact, one day Orville said to his teacher, my brother and I are going to create the first flying machine. Can you imagine what his teacher must have said? She probably smiled, a really big smile, but he had a dream and he pursued it along with his brother. I was very lucky because I went to college and I was able to become a teacher. I taught Latin. It was a beautiful thing. Now, while I was going to college and teaching Latin, my brothers were starting a printing business and their printing business was very successful. Then bicycles came into fashion and we all as a family loved a good bike. So my brothers moved from the printing business into the bicycle shop business. And we all took part in the business of taking care of family. So the bicycle shop led to the experimenting and the idea that flight was possible. Now, the question is, why Kitty Hawk? Well, while we were all living in Ohio, my brothers did some research with the National Weather Service and they said, go to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. The strong winds and the high dunes would be the greatest place to practice your flight. And that's exactly what they did. I was the one who did the encouraging. I wrote letters to encourage them. They wrote letters back to me. Also, I sent them packages, whatever they needed, nuts, bolts, flying airplane parts, you name it. And I sent them from Dayton, Ohio. While at the same time running the bicycle shop, which was bringing in the income because flying airplanes is a very expensive adventure. We kept a constant correspondence going back and forth. One of the things that they told me about was how people in the community would all come out to watch them fly. 
And as they came out, they needed help moving the plane back up to the top of Kitty Hawk. So this guide right here was used and you would have multiple people guiding the plane up to the top of the hill where it would then be used to practice flight. Also, the people of the community were fascinated with my brothers. They asked the press to come out, they took pictures. It, the information went all over because people were fascinated with what was going on at Kitty Hawk. Here we have the home where my brothers lived, very sparse conditions. They ate out of a lot of tin cans, but they also ate a lot of local fish. One of the problems that they encountered was the large amount of mosquitoes. At one point, Wilbur said there were so many mosquitoes on his arms that it looked like he had black hair. Now, what do you do about mosquito bites? You go for a swim in the ocean, and that's exactly what they would do to relieve the itching and the pain. So this project was not as simple as everybody thinks. It wasn't just about flying. It was a lot about problem solving, too. While Wilbur and Orville definitely got biggest publicity, I was there for them. Their biggest allies in flight. Oftentimes there is the history behind the history. And an educated woman, an educated family, a family that valued education, was one of the reasons that the brothers were able to fly their airplanes and be so successful. So soar every chance you get. Learn all that you can because it is well worth it. While you might not become the famous one, you might become the one who actually becomes the wind beneath their wings. Continue to learn at home with other great videos from the North Carolina Transportation Museum on Facebook, YouTube, and nctrans.org. The North Carolina Transportation Museum in Spencer is the museum that moves you.